All right, today we're going to do a windshield wiper motor on a 2003 Cadillac DTS. Uh, and this is going to be a fairly simple procedure uh, for the all of those that uh, don't know about taking off these covers right here. Normally you would take off the oil cap and just pull this cover up, but uh, somebody has lost uh, their ability to do this correctly and this one just laying up in there. I see this a lot. People don't know how to pop them up. And as you can see from the bottom side, it has these little tabs that are fit down into rubber grommet. That's how you pull them up. Uh, this one here has been broken off here, broken off there, and uh, a little oil adapter going into the uh, valve cover there is missing. So that's what I do with them. Throw them on the ground. By uh, the time you've got that off, what we're going to do is uh, there's your windshield wiper motor right there. This little harness going into it right here. It's, attached to this uh, aluminum bracket here. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, we're going to start by removing the windshield wipers. I'm going to show you how that's done. Uh, there'll be little caps up underneath here so you'll need to uh, pull these little caps off. They just you know, pull on, pull right off. Pull your little caps off of your windshield wiper motors. Sometimes they can be a little sticky and you'll need a little help with a little pocket screwdriver. I got really strong fingers so I can just pull them up. Uh, and at first glance, that looks like it's going to be a 15 millimeter. I'll let you know, uh, but I'm going to take a 15 millimeter and remove these nuts, uh, both of them, and then I'll relieve the tension off of the uh, arm on the windshield like this so I can pull the arm loose from right here. I'll remove both of those so I can get this plastic piece of the cover out of the way. Remove this weather strip out of the way as well. So uh, that's what it's going to look like when you start. We're going to remove both of them with your wiper blades so we can get to that plastic. Uh, so we can get to that. That one's pretty stuck on there. Okay, one time you got your windshield wiper arms off of there, you want to look right on the inside in here. It's not showing up very well, it's dark in there. Right in here there'll be a retaining nut for this plastic shield. You don't need a stick. But you'll want to get that retaining nut off right, right in there. Then you can grab a hold of this plastic and pull it back. Work it back so you release the clip off of the windshield right here where it clips into the windshield. And then you'll just work it to come loose. Now it'll separate right here in the middle. Uh, so you'll want to pull it and work it to where it separates right here in the middle and remove this piece of plastic. I just so y'all know a little trick to this is to separate it here in the center first where it tucks up underneath and I laid it here so you can see it just lays underneath there on that little lip so if you can separate that lip pull the uh, arm over this hole and slide it out this way then you'll just be able to pull it straight out and out of the way and that will reveal the uh, assembly uh, and what you're going to have is a 10 millimeter right back there in that corner and another 10 millimeter right there on that corner and that'll remove this entire assembly from the vehicle. You can tell it floats on them rubber grommets so uh, the windshield wipers don't bind, you know, when they're going across. It's got a little movement to it. But you'll want to remove that tin back there in that corner and this tin right here. And then we're going to remove this assembly. The assembly removed. Took out my two nuts and just picked it out of there. Of course, I undid the electrical connector. Now, these three Torx head screws right here are the ones you're going to have to remove to separate the motor from this bracket and as you can tell this one here is covered if you grab a hold of it right here and firmly turn it you'll be able to move this to any position you want to uh, get it back to where you want it now uh, you may want to note the position of this uh, so you can get it uh, you know fairly close to where it's going to be when it's parked but before I reinstall the windshield wiper blades I'll insert the key uh, turn the motor on and let it go through its cycle one time. That way I'll know where to park the windshield wiper blades against the windshield because if you don't bolt the windshield wiper blades back in the right position here and then you turn it on, they may park up there halfway on the windshield, they may park back around here, uh, you know, they just won't be correct. So after I reinstall this and get this angle here approximately where it is, uh, I will cycle it one time uh, so I know that the, the motor is in park and the windshield wiper blade should be all the way against the bottom of the glass 
uh, then I will install my blades against the bottom of the glass and everything should be correct when I reinstall. Uh, but that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to hit these three torques, remove my motor, of course undo the uh, arm. Um, uh, that's the way I do it. I undo the arm first and then I'll hit these three nuts uh, just because it's got to come off anyway. And uh, like I said before I install my windshield wiper arms again I will uh, run the cycle one time so I'll know where to reinstall the arms at. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Walk in the park, right? Have fun.